Hi, I am here in my kitchen um, with a, another grocery haul. Newly Community Market in Capitola. And let me share with you all what I got. We're getting um, spring water again. We have a, um, a rock filtrator, rock filtration or whatever you call it, um, water filter. You can use, you, spoke, you can use tap water to um, get out most of the things um, that come in the tap water and it's supposed to kind of like recreate mountain spring water. However, um, the only thing that our rock um, system doesn't get out is uh, fluoride. Um, for right now, until we can get the big water filter that you attach under your sink to really, you know, um, get out the nasty stuff. What we've been doing is buying um, the bottled water and then pouring it inside our water filter. I know, crazy, right? I have my big family union size of the apple cider vinegar, which is good for everything. I use it on my skin, like in my bath water. Um, you know, it's good for your body. You know, you can use it um, in your hair for like cleaning it, doing apple cider vinegar rinses and stuff like that. So, you know, it's all around just great. Good. Um, here's some salad stuff. I think this is romaine lettuce that I got because um, I have this cookbook that I got it's called Eat Cuban, and so I've been dying to like try out um, these recipes in it. So I'm going to be cooking a lot of Cuban food from that. So here are my favorite little carrots. I just I love the carrots with little curly topping. I mean, I just absolutely love these things like look at that i mean isn't that beautiful so i got two bunches of those got a bunch of lemons Ooh. um i got a bunch of lemons like lemons are not really in season it's kind of like more towards the spring or whatever um and i really didn't want to get any limes because they were just like really tiny and just you know i just i didn't want to fool with it so this is my substitute for my um cuban cooking a bunch of limes a bunch of lemons excuse me um, right here we got some hemp milk. The two littlest daughters of Destiny love hemp milk. So we got vanilla and original because they love it for their cereal and milk. And mommy loves the unsweetened almond milk. So uh, we got some of that. And here's another hemp milk. Right, so we really go through this stuff. Here are some um, yams. Are these yams? Yeah, some yams I got because I'm going to use this in my, you know, my Cuban cooking stuff. Um, here I have some um, flour because I use that to like make little doughs and different things, breads and stuff that I make. Um, the girls got some of their pumpkin crunch cereal. I don't know if I showed what was in this before, but here is, hopefully that's coming up. Can you see that? Or do I need to kind of come in a little bit closer? Here you go. So in case anyone's interested in the little nutrition facts, hopefully my light isn't like doing that crazy. So this right here, some uncured um, bacon I got is going to go in some this um, Cuban dish that I'm making. And so it says no nitrates and no nitrates added. So... You know, you want to look for stuff that's as natural as possible. So, and then I'll even show you the ingredient. You would think, okay, the only thing that would be in bacon is, you know, some pork. But you see that? So, I know it's, it's very time consuming to, to like read ingredients. Okay, so we got some um afghani slash persian food last week and it was a little bit disappointing because you know there was this this afghan kebab house that we usually like to go to um to get some really yummy kebabs and this yummy flat bread like some kind of potato stuffed potato bread or whatever that they made there's just like mm, yeah um so we went to this other place and you know, it was like, it was okay, but they had some rice. It was like some kind of date olive rice or some kind of date rice or whatever. 
So then I was thinking like, ooh, yeah, I want some Moroccan food. So yeah, I know I'm like all over the country with my food. So, you know, I had this idea like, oh, you know, like one week I'll do Cuban, another week I'll do Moroccan, another week I'll do some Ethiopian. But um, because I don't really know how they make that stuffed potato flatbread, I'm sure I'll probably if I search for some recipes, I could find it. But so I cheated and, you know, got some whole wheat pita to just like toast up and eat with the food. So, you know, I figured that's like Middle Eastern. So what's in the pita bread? Okay. Can you see that? What's in the pita bread? See that? So, that's something that, you know, you want to look out for. I know people are like, oh gosh, I have to read the ingredients. Okay, so I cheated and I got some uh, black beans in the can. Because I forgot to get, um, <laughs> I forgot to get my dry black beans. So, you know, yes, I cheated. Sorry. So, but I'll show you what's in here. Let's let me kind of move this. I'll show you what's in there. See that? So, and it's it, it's it has a USDA organic stamp, and it has the quality assurance. Um, is that quality assurance international? Right, which is good thing to have both. Um, I got a bag of not a bag, but this is in the bulk section of my store, paprika, because like I use it for like um you know for to make my um east african spices but i can also use this in my north african spices the moroccan food and stuff as well and also in cuban food so i hope i just i hope i got enough right here ooh, ooh, is this busted? okay um in the bulk section i got some rolls some thick rolled oats so the girls love it when i make um oatmeal i got some um the girls love cashew butter, so I got some of this. I didn't know that cashew butter was, like, not exactly cheap. Um, I guess especially when you get raw organic. But So, I mean, if you have a Vitamix or, like, a really good, like, super-duper blender, I have a, um, a Health Master, but I, I, I wouldn't advise, like, trying to, like, crush up nuts in it to make it smooth like butter because you know the little thing will just kind of like start smoking um okay so guess what's in this cashew butter you see that cashews organic cashews so any kind of nut butter that you get like almond butter or walnut butter or peanut butter or anything like that the only thing that should be in it is whatever nut you get. So if you're getting peanut butter, the only thing that should be in peanut butter is peanuts. Period. I mean, you know, unless you're getting like, you know, honey peanut butter or something and honey's in it. But you know, if you read the ingredients of some of the nut butters you have, you'll be surprised. So right here I got some ground almond meal, which is really great. Like it makes great crusts and stuff like that. And you know, you can use it for like cakes and stuff like that. So all this is is just, um, ground blanched almonds I don't know if that's coming up so I got this right here oh and my little friend Mr. Amari is taking stuff out of my bag I got this tomatoes are not in season and so I need this for some of my cooking so um I got this instead I was trying to show what was in here oh right so the only thing that's in my pureed tomatoes is tomatoes see that and Amari just ran off with a bag of cereal I got some breadcrumbs even though this says Italian herbs but it's for my Cuban food so is that coming up okay so I got that um I love curry Here's some um, curry spice that I got in the bulk section. And you know how I do. Let's take the bag and give it a toss. And then pick up the next bag. Um, here is our Bible bread, cinnamon raisin. Love the sprouted bread. What's in here? This is coming up. 
see that. So this bread is really delicious. And, and you can use this like for regular sandwiches and stuff too. It doesn't just have to be. Um, I got some dish liquid because I needed it. And here's another bag of my, um, not bag, but another box of my tomatoes. I yelled the um, yerba mate. Here's, I got some, the bolt cinnamon right here. That's uh, that's also used in um, to make spice mixes for like you know um, Ethiopian food. Well, just different kinds of African dishes. So I got a couple of that um, bunches of these. So this right here is um, some uh, raw cane sugar. So I use that for like you know if I'm baking certain things. Here's some um, coconut palm sugar. And of course, my um, Ethiopian cooking isn't complete without flour some whipped butter the girls just like to put whipped butter on their sandwiches and stuff so here's my kalamata olives is that how you say it kalamata olives so this is going into the um oh i think i was talking about the the afghan persian food or whatever that i had and they had like some they had like some kind of date excuse the noise in the background that's my kids i'm trying to tell them to be quiet but that's not really working um so they had some date rice or whatever. These olives are going to be in the date rice. That's what I'm calling it. I don't think that that's really the name for it. But I'm going to use those olives. And I have some dates in here somewhere. Um, you know, and I think maybe I'll mix it either with couscous or basmati rice. I'm not sure. Here's another thing of um, black beans for my Cuban rice and beans or beans and rice. Here's some sunflower oil. I can't remember where I got this. Um, here's some extra virgin olive oil. Here's the original. Is this original? Yep, look at that. Original kombucha. And see that black label? Ha <laughs> ha! Because when kombucha was taken off the shelf in 2010 in the United States, you know, some companies had to so called reformulate their stuff. I don't know what the hell that shit was about, but this one is the original. Um, formula and they're only certain stores whole foods used to sell it but they sell the white label one so you only can go to like the true hardcore natural organic stores to get the good stuff i mean not that the other one isn't good but like this is the best so people sometimes oh like where can i get that yeah sorry pretty much if you kind of ass out you don't live in california because you know unless you're going to be searching around for grocery stores that sell oh here's some bananas yeah, that's your sister's yogurt too. Um, here's another kombucha. This is great, divine great. Here's the Makai Berry kombucha tea that I love. This is my another one of my um natural so like people who love buying Coca-Cola. Like try some Taylor Tonics Chai Cola. I mean it's really great. I mean it's like I think it's like a couple of dollars for this bottle, but you know, you don't, you won't have the addiction like, oh, I just need to drink the whole thing. Um, I have some sugar plum tomatoes. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Because I'm doing, I know it has something to do with the Cuban food that I'm cooking, but I can't remember off the top of my head what exactly it is that I'm cooking. So here are some more bananas. These look like they're nice and ready to be used in some smoothies. Of course, my life isn't right without the, um cream for gelato or you know salt caramel here is some california um honey um here's some more dish liquid that i forgot that i didn't have oh and here's my california organic wine so these are grown with organic grapes so it's like a little cheap wine but i like the organic wine it's, it's pretty cool so here's the the roast the chicken that i'm doing for the whole roast Cuban style whole roast chicken. Um, my son picked up some of these kelp noodles. So everyone always asks, oh, what are kelp noodles? What are kelp noodles? But they're just basically like seaweed, but they don't taste like seaweed. And you can use them. You can almost use them like, you know, like um, spaghetti. They, they're really good if you use them in like broths and soups and stuff like that. So, and they're like super healthy and delicious for you. Plus, like a lot of these come with um, instructions on the back. So, they're really great you know you want to talk about like you know organic green whatever food yeah pick up some kelp noodles 
So, because I'm still doing the 100 day, 100 mile challenge, which means that for 100 days, I can't buy any groceries that um, are more than, come from more than 100 miles from the point of where I am. So I was going to get some Greek yogurt, but I didn't realize like Greek yogurt came from like all over the United States. I have this yogurt right here that's um, a French style yogurt. So it's really thick. And so I like to use this. Instead of using sour cream for making dressings and different things like that, I use plain yogurt, which is like really great. I bought some brie because I'm going to make some um, baked brie, which is it's some recipe that somebody shared with me on one of my mom websites um, where you use they use like the croissants that come in a can or whatever. But you know I like to make my own croissants and then you like stuff the brie inside of it and then I saw some that had like asparagus rolled up in it so yeah I'm going to see how that turns out so here's some sliced deli meat make sure that your meat says this when you get it see that I got this organic ground turkey in the frozen section um, just to make like another quick go to meal like the um, impossible hamburger pie even though I don't use hamburger to make it so here's some um, orange juice. Seeing something simple like, oh, of course, what else would be in your orange juice but orange juice? But sometimes you like read the back of stuff, what's in your, your juices, and it's not what you think it is. So here's my apple juice. Look at that sediment at the bottom. It's not cider. This is apple juice, which is what your apple juice should look like. What's in here? It's just apple juice. I got some um, catfish fillets for some, uh, I was looking for some red snapper, but you know, I was making, trying to make sure that the fish that I got was one, wasn't farm raised because you want to be careful with farm raised fish. So you want to be careful of that because you don't want your fish raised with hormones and a bunch of other stuff to like, you know, beef them up quick to hurry up and get them to buy. and then you want to be careful that like if you're in California which I am you want to be sure that your fish you know isn't like caught in Maine and then you know shipped all over the United States because that's not necessarily fresh fish and it surely isn't local so that's my fish local I think it did say it was it was it was local, right? And it's telling me I made a sustainable choice um, in my fish. So that's how that's how come I ended up with this catfish. Um, I got bay leaves because I'm using that for my Cuban, Moroccan, ethnic whatever cooking. Here are some, you know, eggs. We really should stop buying eggs around like this, but because I use them to like cook. So these aren't the super happy eggs because it's not necessarily chicken egg laying season. <laughs> um, yes, those beautiful different colored eggs. Like chickens don't just lay white eggs and they don't just lay uh, brown eggs. They lay a multitude of colors of eggs. Just like, you know, when people have babies together. Like if you have a couple that has 10 children together, all 10 of their children are not going to be the exact same color with the exact same kind of hair with the exact same features. They're going to be varied. So chicken eggs are the same way. Um, so when you catch them in their laying season, I mean some of them are like, like a sage-ish color. Some of them are like uh, white. Some of them are like brown and dark brown and light brown and, and speckled and rustic looking. I mean you would be amazed. Uh, I mean for people who grew up on farms or whatever they might know what I'm talking about. Here's some of my little plum tomatoes that kind of escaped from the bag. My husband has turned into a chocolate fiend with these little omega truffle raspberries. Yeah, so him and the littlest one, so he got those for himself. So here's my um, unsalted butter. So just to kind of show you what's in that. Um, yes, my life is not right without ginger. And here's some couscous. Um, I got this for the Moroccan rice or what the heck ever date rice, I don't know. Here's another butter. Um, this is some, I don't know, what do you call this? Parsley. It's for the Cuban rice. It's not called Cuban rice, but that's what I'm calling it. So, either this is thyme 
or oregano. Oh my god. I, this is um this is sage, I think. Okay, this smells like sage. Um, here's some little organic uh, dark chocolate chips. Here is this right here is um, brown basmati rice. Here is another kombucha tea. This is open now. It's probably going to explode because it was laid on its side. Here is another kombucha black label. Yep, that's how we roll. These are some bell peppers. Oh yeah, because I'm making a um a seafood gumbo. Here's another ginger ale from our dear friend GT, based out of Cali. Here is some uh, red lentils. This is for the Ethiopian um, red lentil stew. Um, a couple of crabs because I'm going to make um, some seafood gumbo. That's what I was saying. Like, um, I can't. Here's some sharp cheddar cheese to go with the sliced meat for sandwiches. Cool. So some dishes, some things that you really can't make if you live in a certain area because it, it might not be available um, in your area. Like, I can't get shrimps anymore. Oh, why can't you get shrimps? I mean, yes, they had some frozen shrimp in the store and they even had like the fresh prawns or shrimp or whatever those things were. Uh, but guess what? The frozen shrimp were from like New Hampshire or something like that so yeah you know they were organic but okay that's not local you know and I'm sure they probably didn't taste bad but I'm just really trying to you know be careful with the food that we put in our bodies and you know stuff like that um and the fresh shrimp that they had in the butcher section or the fish monitor section whatever they call it um they were gulf shrimp so, first of all, that's not local at all. And two, I don't know if anyone remembers, but like the oil spill that happened in the Gulf, what was it, a couple of years ago? Uh, that's not clean. <laughs> that's not like, oh, it happened and poof, okay, everything's fine. Mm, 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 mm. So, I can't eat Gulf shrimp. Like, uh,. And I won't. So it's like a lot of stuff, you know, we kind of having to give up eating because of the environment that we lived in. And I know people are like, oh, that's just crazy. That's just taking too far. But yeah, we don't want to be the children of men family. Have you seen that movie, The Children of Men? Yeah. Anyway, so here's another um, whipped cream. Here's yet another kombucha tea. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, why is a lot of kombucha? Trust me, like, my hubby, he'll drink, like, five of them tonight. And then he'll be like, oh, well, I drank all my kombuchas. Here's some, um, what are these things? Some base gallops. So, this is going to go into my uh, seafood gumbo that I'm making. Here's some, uh, what is this? Some more whipped cream. And I have four bottles of um four quarts of raw milk right here this is a local creamery okay because you know raw milk absolutely has have it has to be local and you can see where they are there's a lot of farms out here in cali you wouldn't think so because you know people think la no there's a lot of farms in our here. a chocolate hazelnut milk for the girls oops and someone got another yogurt and here's my yeast that I use for like breads and stuff like that like do you want to talk about some sweet yummy raisins these organic Himalaya golden hunza raisins like these are some of the yummiest raisins ever like on the face of the planet I don't even know I like raisins so I, forgot. I think these are goji berries and I think my husband my son was like going around exploring the bulk section bin. Yeah, so he kind of picked those out. Um, here's another original kombucha. This is one of my favorites. Third eye chai. Okay, I know you like can't see it. It's like, wait, I can't see it. Third eye chai. Love that stuff. Here's another third eye chai. And here is another. I can't see that. Divine grape. Another thing of eggs, 
Yeah, you like then you got heck of eggs. Um, yeah, I use we go through a lot of eggs. So here's some little what are these like Yukon potatoes or something like that? I forget. I think that's the name of them. Some more. These is for my Cuban food. Here's the asparagus that I got. Um, for the baked brie thing, whatever that I'm making. This is for the um the gumbo. These are some peppers for all my little all my little cooking in general, you know, to kind of spice things up a little bit. And here's like a bunch of garlics that I got. What's this? Oh, here I got a um the heck is this? This is like a lamb steak. I got one because I'm gonna make like a um, Moroccan lamb stew. So the girls like wheat farina, um, aka cream of wheat, cream of wheat. So ah, here are my dates. Where are these at? So yeah, these are local. So this is for the date and olive couscous, basmati rice, whatever the heck, you know, your girl be doing a lot in the kitchen. And so here's like a bunch of onions. Really, really trying to eliminate as much packaged food as I can. So I cheated with the black beans because I got them in the can when I really, you know, meant to get like some dry black beans and then I forgot and, you know, so... Um, you know, I guess I could, I made my own almond milk before and sometimes I get like totally lazy, which I should like not get lazy and just really keep making my own almond milk. I'm not really sure how I would make hemp milk because, you know, I'd have to like find hemp somewhere. Um, so I'm really trying to get out of not buying packaged food. So the less packaged foods that we buy, meaning like, you know, like if I want cookies instead of just picking up a bag of cookies, buy the chips to, you know, just make a small batch of chocolate chip cookies. Or, you know, if I want something like popcorn, instead of getting a box of the microwave popcorn that has a whole bunch of yucky, nasty stuff in it, you know, you can just get the kernels and, you know, pop them yourself. Make your own yogurt. You can make your own butter with using, like, heavy cream. Um, I cheated with the breadcrumbs because I could have totally just made my own breadcrumbs from making bread, but sometimes I get tired of making everything um, myself. Um, so like if you have a juicer, you can make your own orange juice, just buy a bunch of oranges. Uh, you can make your own apple juice, you know, just buy a bunch of apples and, you know, put it in your juicer. So a lot of stuff you can like, and this is like organic, natural, local or whatever. And so you can really cut down the cost of your grocery bill by making stuff yourself. So, um, anyway, this is where we went. And this is, you know, you know how I do. Oops. Yeah, our receipt is pretty long. So, and this is how much we spent. Can you see that? I think that says $529. So, this actually was pretty good because we have five small children um, and, you know, two adults. So, um, and I got like crab and fish and um, lamb and stuff like that, um, plus juice and different things like that. So, that's really not too bad. So, and yeah, we pick up things throughout the week, like, okay, we run out of milk, which we do. Um, my hubby will go pick up a couple of things of milk or, you know. Um, I couldn't find the bread that we usually get, so during the week he'll cup up, pick up a couple of loaves of bread and like probably some more water. So, you know, that might be another hundred bucks or whatever like that. So, but anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. And if you stay tuned <laughs> to the end of this lengthy video, <laughs> thanks and um, see you next time. Bye.